Okay, so here I am with uh, TP. We're at the Code Sprint in Hamburg, and just as the IKEA uh, is being built over there, um, the new next generation of Drupal is being built before our very eyes in the room, uh, which is actually a lot warmer than it is outside here. But anyway, before I ramble on for too long, I'm just going to ask TP, uh, who is uh, who considers himself a Drupal beginner, um, what the Code Sprint means for you and why you participate in the Code Sprint. Well, I'm not that beginner anymore, but uh, my Drupal career pretty much started from here too, because that was, uh, I think, like 16 months ago. Mm -hmm. And I did Drupal, I don't know, three months before already, but yeah. then this was my really my first Drupal sprint. And I, I met all the people in the Drupal community here, and I really, really learned a lot. And then I really, uh, first understood what what open source community really is. Yeah. Um, you're uh, originally from Finland, aren't you? So you presumably used to this kind of weather. I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, very windy here, as I'm sure that people can hear. Um, and snow. And yeah, there's lots of snow as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. It's great. Um, so. Um, we're here, here we are in Hamburg and there are plenty of people who are real experts. We've got uh, Martin Wiener who is a one of the chief developers on the uh, Views module which is yeah. very central to uh, Drupal and is in fact going to become part of the core. Um, so you, uh, you, well up until recently were a beginner and are finding your feet in Drupal. Is it uh, something that... Oh. <laughs> Is it, is it useful for you? To, uh, do you find that the people um, who are already very deeply involved in Drupal that they're friendly and approachable and uh, that you are able to learn a lot by being here? Yeah, yeah, the most important thing is you just need to come and then it doesn't ma matter what kind of question you uh, make here. There's no stupid question and it's great all the great people sitting uh, there in the same room and if you got any problems you don't understand something after 10 minutes of learning you can just ask and yeah. they will help you right away or in five minutes and you will get the answer and you will get a very good answer okay for somebody who's a quite a, a beginner in Drupal what would you say are the first things somebody should learn so what, what are the things you need to be equipped with in order to start Drupal nothing just come and you will they will explain what you need to uh, learn. Okay. And, and what were the first things that you learned when you started? Uh, yeah, I think it always starts from site building or something. Yeah. But uh, the Drupal sprints are usually that you can give something for the community. Yeah. And if you don't have any uh, areas you're very good at, or you you just want to learn something, just start from there. And you can ask from the people where should I start. Yeah. Um, do you actually contribute to the modules nowadays, or um, are you here just to just to find your feet in Drupal 8? Uh, yeah, here I try to import one module, and I'm developing one module myself. Yeah. But I don't have a really. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I don't have my own project yet. Yeah. But it will come. How's it going with Drupal 8? Is it, is it difficult or is it something that you're getting to grips with quite quickly? It's pretty difficult. Yeah. Like for last hour I've been asking questions and learning about the configuration management which is pretty new. But I think it's pretty good now when I'm starting to understand a little bit. Okay. Do you use the international uh, the, the, the uh, inter international communication tools like the IRC and, and things like that, the IRC text chat? Yeah, it's on but uh, I go there when I need to, yeah, <laughs> but okay. here I can just ask from the people uh, yeah. sitting beside me. So okay, and before we freeze here, <laughs> um, <laughs> just one last question, uh, which I can't actually remember what I was going to ask. That was it. Um, you're originally from Finland. Um, do you know or do you have contacts to the Drupal community in Finland very much, or is uh, not much? No. I come from fin uh, Kuopio. It's a no. yeah, a pretty small town. There's just a couple of guys doing Drupal, but there's more people in Helsinki and now there's a big company and 
I know yeah. a couple of people, but I live here, so I know more people. Yeah. From so here. The, the local aspect is more important for yeah. you than the uh, than staying in touch with folks back home who are doing Drupal. I think in Drupal, it doesn't really matter where you are. Yeah. It's we're all working uh, all over the world, yeah. and it works. We're all one big international community. We're all. Uh, pushing in the same direction. Exactly. The people in India, in Canberra, Sydney, uh, and in Hamburg are all working uh, towards the same goal. Um, well, I think in Canberra and in India, the weather's probably a little bit uh, more clement than it is here. Uh, it's absolutely bloody freezing, isn't it? And the wind <laughs> doesn't really help. Um, so uh, I think it's probably best that we go inside and grab a coffee or something. Thanks very much. Thanks. <laughs>